Hi, it's Lori Brown with YourNurseAttorney.com and EmpoweredNurses.org. How are you today? Today we're going to have a very special conversation about what to do if your license is placed on probation or if it's impaired or encumbered in some way. Because I get asked all the time about how do I find a job if I'm on probation? And if you're also a member of one of those nurse assistance programs or peer assistance programs, it's like a double whammy. Um, but just because you have those restrictions on your license does not mean you can't find a job. So I'm going to give you seven tips on how to find a job while your license is on probation, okay? So the first tip is traditional ways of getting a job don't work. So if you go on the internet and check that box, yes, that your license has been disciplined in some way, your application will go to the bottom of the pile if it's even looked at. So traditional ways don't work. And I know nurses are caregivers and we're not business people, but when your license is prob on probation or encumbered in some way, we've got to turn you into a business person because you get to market yourself. And so traditional rules of marketing are what we need to do to help you sell yourself and show that you're the best person for that job. So the biggest advice I can give you, number two, tip number two, is to network network talk to everybody you know there's an ancient saying that says that your net worth is the size of your network and today we're lucky with the internet there are so many ways to find people and just network you you know tons of nurses you've worked with tons of nurses talk to them ask them tell them you're looking see who they know um, because if you can get in front of the decision maker and establish a relationship so that person know likes and trusts you you're going to get a job and another thing to do is when you do network, keep a copy of your last employment evaluation so that if you do make, get an interview with somebody that you met through networking, you can show them your last employment evaluation, and I'm assuming it was good, and that they'll review it and say, oh, because paper speaks louder than words. And if you have some objective evidence, such as your last employment evaluation showing that you're a good nurse, then they're going to want to hire you. So the third tip is to think out of the box. There are so many places that nurses never think about to get a job, but all of them are good for either nurses in a peer assistance program or on probation or both. Um, the first is insurance companies. Insurance companies use nurses all the time. If it's a personal injury, um, a auto accident or homeowners or whatever, um, they are looking for nurses to review medical records and determine whether the accident caused the injury or they're looking at medical records. I used to do life insurance um, defense and so we would look at the medical record to determine if the person died of natural causes or not um, or if they didn't disclose a condition on their life insurance application. So all those things a nurse could be doing. Um, aside from health insurance companies, they all need wellness nurses to help um, their insurance. So insurance companies are a great place to look. Um, you want to look for to be like at nursing homes for an MDS coordinator. That's a really good position for a nurse too because what you get to do is look at the medical record and figure out what information needs to be reported on this form to a government. Another place that's overlooked is dialysis centers. Um, they're always looking for nurses and it's a really nice place because you get the same clients over and over again and you get to really establish wonderful relationships with them. So think about dialysis centers. Um, and lastly, nursing homes. If you live in a rural area or are willing to commute to a rural area, those areas are usually underserved and don't have enough nurses as it is. So if you're willing to travel, that nursing home would love you and those patients would lovely, likely benefit from you being there. So think about nursing homes. Now some for-profit nursing home chains don't have, they don't have, they have a policy that says we can't take nurses on probation. So look for not-for-profit nursing homes or independently owned nursing homes. And you can find that by Googling for not-for-profit nursing home associations. And then just see which ones are in your area and go there and make the relationships and see if you like it. Uh, it may be a really good fit for you. The fourth tip to getting a job would be going to doctor's offices. Now, if they only need a medical assistant 
and they're willing to let you do some nursing activities but pay you as a medical assistant, it's worth it to get your foot in the door and as long as you have a title of a nurse um, and they're willing to supervise you, then again, it's a great place to get some, some work experience under your belt and to get through your probation. So the fifth place is um, sort of a blessing or an a curse. It's home health care. Now I think home health care is a great place to work, especially um, on a probationary license. But some boards are concerned that when you work home health care, that you're not being adequately supervised. And the whole idea of probation is that you are adequately supervised. So make sure that your your supervisor knows that, that you want her to really watch you and to come out on visits with you, check in with the families, check in with the nurse who comes before or after you, how you're doing, so that they have a really good idea how you're doing and they can tell the board how well you're doing and how much they're supervising you. Um, the sixth tip is to always be honest and upfront. You don't want to sugarcoat the situation, but you don't want to downplay it either. Just be honest and take responsibility for it. Um, when you start blaming other people or situations for what happened, uh, it's a red flag to employers. And lastly, mindset. Seventh tip. That's the most important. If you think you're not going to get a job or you think the market's too tight, you're not going to get a job. But if you think um, that you will get a job um, and do everything, think, feel, and act as if you're going to find something, then you will. Don't let that one incident or whatever happened in the past define who you are. Think about all the good care that you've given in the past and let that be who you are. And that, let that person go to the interviews and, and find the job. And yes, I know it's, it's easy to feel down or rejected, but no just means not now. It doesn't mean forever. So keep trying. It is a full-time job looking for a job. Um, and lastly, you know, if you think you can, you can't. And if you think you can't, you can't. Either way, you're right. You decide which side of the equation you want to be on. So I hope these tips are helpful to you, and I hope you do go out and find a job and be the best nurse you can be. And thanks for listening. Bye for now.